Hi, my name is Seth Schneider, and welcome to the Intel GPA 2016 R1 release video. In this release, we've added support for DirectX 12, changed the name of Frame Analyzer, and added some additional changes to the Frame Analyzer UI. Let's get started and take a look at some of these new features. Let's first address some general changes made to Intel GPA this release. The GPA release version has been removed from the file name in the My Documents folder. Going forward, Intel GPA will store captured frames, traces, and important files in this single folder, which removes the need to copy files and change settings each time GPA is updated. In addition to the file naming changes, Graphics Frame Analyzer has changed its name. Graphics Frame Analyzer for DirectX is now called Graphics Frame Analyzer DirectX 9, 10, and 11, which supports APIs DirectX 9, DirectX 10, and DirectX 11. Graphics Frame Analyzer for OpenGL is now just Graphics Frame Analyzer, which supports OpenGL ES 1.0 to 3.2, OpenGL 3.3 to 4.1 core profile, and DirectX 12. The addition of DirectX 12 alpha support is the largest portion of this release. To get started using DirectX 12, open up Monitor, go to Preferences, then select Force DirectX 12 Injection. Once that is selected, select OK. For the current recommended amount of system memory, please check the release notes linked in the description below. Our DirectX 12 Alpha release supports the full GPA workflow. Perform live analysis of DirectX 12 apps with System Analyzer and the HUD. Open up a DirectX 12 Trace and Platform Analyzer for offline timeline-based analysis, or Open up a DirectX 12 frame in Graphics Frame Analyzer for in-depth single frame analysis. A detailed DirectX 12 workflow video is coming soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you're notified when the video is released. As for the Graphics Frame Analyzer UI, we've made a few changes. If you are analyzing a DirectX 12 frame, the API events list on the left-hand side is now organized by command list. In the resource viewer, you can find per erg resources such as geometry, textures, states, shader code, and render targets. On the right hand side, you will see per erg metrics and per erg experiments. You can find a full list of DirectX 12 features enabled in this alpha release in the release notes. We've also made some additional changes to Graphics Frame Analyzer when analyzing OpenGL or OpenGLES applications. We have added the ability to revert all experiments within the frame. Click this arrow button at the top of the screen to revert all experiments. OpenGL API calls such as GL Text Image 2D, GL Read Pixels, and GL Copy Text Image 2D are now represented as ERGs. For example, this GL buffer subdata is now displayed in the ERG graph. This allows for GPU metrics, inputs, and outputs to be shown. Resource history has been implemented. When selecting a render target, texture, or shader, you will notice that a color bar appears under the selected erg. For example, if we select the render target, we will notice that a purple bar appears under that erg, and we will notice that an orange color bar appears under a subsequent erg. Purple means that that erg is writing to the selected resource, Orange means that that specific erg is reading from that resource. If we select a shader, we will see a green color bar appear. This means that the selected erg is using this shader in its execution. And the last highlighted feature for this release, we have added a vSync override for Android and Ubuntu targets. You can now change vSync options by enabling vSync, disabling vSync, or using the application settings. And that wraps up the features and changes for the GPA 2016 R1 release. You can download Intel GPA for free from the Intel GPA website, or you can find it in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them on our forums. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next Intel GPA release.